So how do you hide your personal info from the internet? A quick Google search for your name likely reveals that your full name, address, and phone number is listed on dozens, if not hundreds of websites. Nobody likes their data publicly available, so what can you do about it? And how did it get listed on these websites to begin with? To answer the question of how it ended up on these websites, they're ultimately pulling from public records. Websites like True People Search scrape property deeds, tax records, and business records to build a profile of information about you. All of this information is available in public government databases, but these data brokers aggregate the information so it's easily accessible in one place. They often sell the data to advertisers, and they'll also sell it to individuals who are determined to get someone's phone number or address. So there's two things to understand about removing your personal information. First, you likely cannot remove your info from public government databases. However, removing your info from these aggregate sites will make it much more difficult for individuals to track you down. And I can assure you that advertisers aren't searching government databases just to find your phone number and call you. If it's not included in a list they buy from data brokers, they just won't call you. The second thing to understand is that removing your data is a never-ending game of whack-a-mole. Data removal isn't a once-and-done task. Data brokers may re-index your data after it's been removed for a period of time. And even if some data brokers respect the requests indefinitely, new sites pop up all the time that will list your information. When it comes to hiding your personal info, it's possible to manually request your data to be removed from each of these websites, but it's not easy. Every website has its own convoluted process and usually buries the link to the form where you submit requests, so you may spend several hours filling out forms to get the bulk of your data removed. And once it's removed, you have to repeat this process every few months to maintain your privacy. My recommendation is to use a data removal service, and since there's many of them out there, I decided to compare four of the most popular options, Incogni, Delete Me, Aura, and Optory. Starting with pricing and availability, Incogni and Delete Me are available in multiple countries including the US, Canada, the UK, and most of the EU. Aura and Optory are only available in the US. The services are all priced in the $10 to $15 a month range, with the exception of Incogni's annual plan, which is priced significantly cheaper at $6.50 a month. It's also worth noting that Delete Me does not offer a month plan. It's just annual, so you'll need to commit to a year up front if you choose Delete Me. Also, Optory offers various plans ranging from free to $25 a month, but for simplicity's sake, I've included the plan that I believe is most comparable to the other services, which is the extended plan at $15 a month. So what was the experience like with each service when I signed up? Incogni was surprisingly simple, maybe a bit too simple. I was asked for my full name, date of birth, email address, phone number, and current address. I then signed an authorization form giving Incogni consent to request data removal on my behalf, and that was about it. Delete Me, Aura, and Optory let you provide more information like previous addresses, alternate emails, alternate phone numbers, relatives, employer information, and a copy of your driver's license. Some data brokers require a copy of your driver's license to process the removal, so by providing it in the dashboard, they can automatically send it to that broker and you won't get an email later asking for more information. Now I want to stress that providing this extra info is optional, but if you trust your data removal service, you should want to provide as much information as possible. The more complete your profile is, the more listings they can find, and that means less of your personal information is easily accessible on Google. The onboarding process is similar at each service, with the exception of Aura, which walks you through getting started with additional features. Aura is an all-in-one security solution, so it provides access to a VPN, a password manager, antivirus apps, identity theft protection, and data removal services. I'm focusing primarily on the data removal features of Aura for the sake of this comparison, but I'll talk more about the overall features later. After I set up each service, I wanted to assess the real-world results of the data removal. That is to say, what happened after I signed up? Did I actually know notice a reduction in personal information on Google? Well, first I need to mention that it's quite difficult to compare this aspect of these services fairly. That's because I can't use my personal information on all four services. That would mean the services would be competing with each other to remove the same personal information from the same websites, and that doesn't give me a clear picture of how effective each service really is. To solve this, I asked a few trusted individuals if they would be willing to let me sign them up for one of these services 
lives and assessed the before and after results after a few weeks. With the permission of these individuals, I tested each service with a unique person. This gave me an idea of the quantifiable before and after results of real people. The only downside is that some individuals may have more personal info accessible online than others, and there's just no easy way to get a perfectly fair test here. With that in mind, I made a few observations on the results. Incogni did a good job reducing the number of Google results containing personal information. However, I still found a few listings. I suspect this is because Incogni doesn't allow you to add additional context like prior addresses or alternate emails, so maybe they don't realize these listings are the same person. Delete Me did a much more thorough job. I couldn't find a single listing containing personal information after a few weeks. Aura left a lot to be desired, as I noticed a ton of personal info in the search results. I looked into how many sites Aura removes data from, and they only request removal from 20 data brokers. Compare that to Delete Me, and they remove your data from over 750 brokers. This again shows that Aura is a jack-of-all-trades security solution that does an okay job in everything, but it's not great in any one area. Optory does a good job removing your data with one huge caveat. You have to pay for the most expensive plan to remove your data from every website. I tested the extended plan since it's priced so similarly to the other services, and it removes your data from 230 plus websites. I wasn't sure exactly what this meant, but upon checking the dashboard, the scan reveals websites with screenshots containing your personal info and says you have to upgrade to the ultimate plan to process the removal. I'm not a fan of this. It feels like a bait and switch to get you in the door with the cheapest plan and make you shell out for the most expensive plan. I know it would bother me seeing screenshots of my personal data out on the internet and I would be tempted to upgrade just to get it removed. And this brings up a question. What if you come across search results that these services didn't automatically remove? Is there any way you can request that they manually remove a listing? Delete Me and Optory offer a form you can fill out to request removal from sites they didn't automatically catch. but Optory once again requires you to upgrade to the most expensive plan to access this. Incogni and Aura don't offer this feature, and this is especially bothersome at Incogni because they don't give you a way to add additional context to your profile to help it identify relevant search results for automatic removal. In other words, if Incogni misses a result because it's a prior address or alternate email, there is nothing you can do. There's no form you can fill out, there's no way to add the alternate address to your profile and help it find that that record, you're just out of luck. Each service gives you stats and reports on how many brokers your data has been removed from and removals currently in progress. Optory does this best, providing rich information like before and after screenshots and links to live listings pending removal. Delete Me offers a masking feature for emails and phone numbers, allowing you to generate burner credentials that forward to your main email and phone number. I've talked about aliases in the past, and while I appreciate Delete Me offering this feature, I'm not sure I'd want my aliases tied to a $130 a year subscription service. I'd recommend using a dedicated email alias service instead. Aura offers a ton of extra features, including a VPN, a password manager, antivirus apps, and identity theft insurance. Aura is advertised as an all-in-one security solution, the one service to rule them all. But I'm not a big fan of Aura's jack-of-all-trades model. It's not the best VPN, it's not the best password manager, it's not the best data removal service. They do an okay job in each of these areas, but they don't excel in any of them. The biggest value add to Aura over the other options is the $1 million of identity theft insurance. So which option is right for you? Well, if you're located in the US and want the best service possible, go with Optory. Optory is pricey. Expect to pay for either the middle or top plans, either $150 a year or $250 a year. But Optory is objectively the highest quality service of the ones I tested. The reports are much more detailed than other providers, and you can add as much personal info as you'd like for additional context. There's also that custom removals form where you can submit requests for any sites they may have missed. But Optory is really expensive, so if you'd like a more affordable option, or if you're outside the US, I'd go with Delete Me. Delete Me 
Mutiny is almost as good as Optery. In function, I think the results are just as good. The reports aren't as detailed, but you can still provide additional personal info for context, and there's a form where you can request manual removal from sites they may have missed, and you don't have to pay extra for it. Delete Me comes in at $130 a year, and you do have to pay annually, but there's a promo code to get 20% off your first year that I'll have linked below. This video is not sponsored by Delete Me, but they do offer a first year discount through my affiliate link. If Delete Me is still above your price range, Incogni is the best budget option. It comes in significantly cheaper at $78 a year, and it does a decent job removing your personal info. It's not as thorough as the other services, but it still significantly reduces the number of sites that reveal your personal info. Now, I used Google to look up each person and see what results I found, since Google is the most popular search engine. But Google search is far from private. If you want to know the best private search engine, check out my video comparing DuckDuckGo, Brave Search, and Start Page here.